Commuters are being given their first glimpse of Flinders Street Station's new look, but it's not actually new at all, with the colour scheme changed to reflect the building's past and work underway to protect its crumbling interior. Andrew Lund has more. Flinders Street's famous facade is completely covered by scaffolding. But on the other side, train travellers are being given a look at what's to come as workers repaint the building into its original colours. From today, uh, people will get the first glimpses of what Flinders Street Station looked like from the, the day it was built. The mustard colour is being replaced by a lighter stone shade, while the maroon is being darkened to replicate the colour scheme of 1910 as part of a $100 million program to help protect the landmark for future generations. There's also work going on to understand uh, what's needed to support further restoration of some of the interior um, rooms in Flinders Street Station. It has a, a grand history and a grand past, but it, there's no doubt it needs some further work. Flinders Street is the busiest station in Melbourne, but much of it is in a sad state of disrepair. It's hoped this project will prevent any further deterioration, with a leaking roof also being fixed. Despite a $1 million design competition staged by the previous state government, there's still no long-term plan for the interior of this building. But more change is on the cards, with the station to be linked in to the new metro tunnel. Well, it's good to get the station looking nice. It's an important heritage site for Melbourne. Uh, but at the same time, they really need to be focusing on the uh, passenger usability issues, things like the crowding around the platforms, the exits, the subways, uh, the leaks into the subways. Uh, those sorts of issues do need to be resolved. In the meantime, work to preserve the building's heritage has yielded some unusual items, such as these watches found in the old gym. The repaint is due to be finished by the end of the year. Andrew Lund, Nine News.